was hyped. He was like drum ready to hit this lick. Played out every single scenario that could happen. That's what got close to the destination. I feel like we were on a mission. He was like, as soon as I get the pack, we pull off, bro. And he started blasting the future, and that's when I changed the music, changed the music, something up. And so it's like, obviously, we're about to do this. I wanted to pull up real calm and didn't want to be suspicious, so I made him play some RB music and I found my blessings to the face. This is vlog number like 27 or something. We're in Cheju again because we had some free tickets from AeroK. Thank you, AeroK. We're in this really cool Airbnb. It's so cool. I can't wait to fly my FPV drone. <laughs> So we're back right now and uh but that airbnb we were staying at was awesome it was right next to all these windmills which looked super cool and it even had a trampoline yeah. whoa that was really good bud and just a five minute walk away it also had a super cool coffee shop it was chill and they also had a view of the windmills and really good coffee Since the windmills were so close, we decided to walk over and I finally got to take out huh? my FPV drone yeah. for the second time. <laughs> finally, for the second time. <laughs> Lastly, too, this place with all the windmills had a super cool lighthouse, which was oh, cool. <laughs> House, we decided to drive to this old abandoned hotel that has now been turned into a coffee shop. On the way though, I found two cool spots to find my FPV. Pretty unimportant, but I did see this like ravine. The other was a ridge dive, which was so fun. Is that where you lost your drum? Yeah, I don't know if I really have footage of it. At the, this hotel though, inside they had a lot of really great pastries, tons of pastries. The coffee was really good, but it was, it's also on top of a hill where you can go hike another hill, which a lot of people were doing. And I imagine there's a great view on the other side. We didn't go and check it out, so I don't know. But they also have this famous pink grass that's in Korea. And you can take pictures with it. You can just, it looks cool. So it's nice for photos. It's interesting. And after that, we went home to our Airbnb and called it a day. 